response to Ole Kool is that ah, should be like yesterday I dropped this song. <laughs> you know what I mean? You expect that over time it'll fade away, but it just keeps getting better. Mm. And I'm grateful for God, for, you know, to God for passing that song through people through me. Mm. For delivering that song through me, mm. you know, I've, I can beat my chest and say I have certain records that are actually timeless. You know? well, ask me where I get all my energy from. From the stage, to the studio, and to my desk. I am the energy god. And you can be one too. You're listening to Adishokbe Live, the Afrobeat podcast. Right. Right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to another edition of Ali Chopin Live, the official Afrobeats podcast here in the Afri Media Studios in London. As always, where we break down the hot topics of the culture. And sometimes I'm joined by a superstar to talk to me one on one. As always, thank you very much for your subscriptions. Keep liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing wherever you get your podcast. And that is Apple, Spotify, YouTube. Keep those subscriptions coming. Let's get the numbers up. The bigger our platform, the better we are in a position to promote our people without waiting for anybody else to promote us. As always, this is brought to you by the Energy God, Energy Drink. Drink and be yourself. Be energized. Stay energized in the building. And right now, this is a very exciting time for me. I'm joined in the studio by a brother of mine. One of the superstars of this culture who's put on for this culture. Representing for Nigeria, the west side of Africa, out of just the <laughs> north side of the country. Oh Ladies and gentlemen, one of the ones that opened the door for this game. And still Lord. freaking young and fresh. <laughs> it's a super cool cat. <laughs> I squeeze the money! Bang, 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 bang. Yo, I feel good, you know. I feel Everything nice. nice, man. That intro was so honoring, boss. Listen, that's uh, that's uh, that's one of the introductions I, I reserve for a brother of mine. Man, that's so know. honoring. That's so humbling. Literally, I'm shy right now. I'm blushing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bro, like I said, um, it's a pleasure to 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 reconnect after yeah. all these years. Yeah, We've man. definitely been speaking on the phone. We've kept communication. And, and let me let me report to you right now in front of your <laughs> camera, man. I was literally <laughs> supposed to be going back, flying back to Lagos right now. <laughs> Shopsy said, Ice, what? Yeah, I said, bro, it. your country is too expensive. He said, nah, nah Ice, bro. I got you. Nah, How many days are you going to stay? Nah, I'm going to take care of it. So nah. I want to say thank you nah, my for paying for my hotel nah, man, and taking care brother, of everything. Man. Shout out to T, you know, you know, my brother. But thank you, man, for keeping me back out here. Listen. And I'm so happy to be around in your presence one more time. Mm. Really and truly. Shout outs to you, Shopsy Do. I've watched you over the years. I've been your friend from the very first day. Absolutely. I've been your Absolutely. little bro. And Absolutely. I'm super, super. Absolutely. Let me look you eyeball to eyeball thank and tell you, you that, boss. I'm thank really, you. really proud of you, man. Thank Respect. You, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Listen, like I said. And good to be in the shrine. Come on, Afro man. B shrine. This is the shrine. I watch I... this all the time. <laughs> I saw CK interview. I loved it. Yeah. I saw Skibi. I loved yeah. it. I saw Zlatan. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. now, you know, I used to prince that one chunk guy is in the <laughs> building. Come on. <laughs> like I said, like, this is. One of those platforms that we created because we had to have our own. Oh God. We have to have our own Bless. platform. So we don't have to wait for others to nobody's gonna be able to celebrate a nice prince of money the way we would. Facts. Nobody will be able to ce celebrate a, a whiskey or a, a burner boy Facts. the way we will. Facts. Because this is what we believe from the beginning. Facts. I Facts. said something from day to one. you. Um when we met, the first interview we had. The crazy thing is, I was at work. The same work I'm coming from now. It's <laughs> taking me two hours to get here. See, look. I was Legendary. coming from there. Wow. When they told me that Ice Prince was in Dagenham, you know. Yeah, so Dagenham. I, I was like, yo, I'm going. So I, I just gave my boss like some flimsy excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go. I've got a family emergency. <laughs> and I got to, to Dagenham. They said you were cutting your hair down at the barber shop. Man, you remember every detail. Everything. <laughs> I came to the barber shop. Ice was there. I'm like, bro, don't worry. Get your hair cut. I'll take you back to your apartment. <laughs> and that's the day I actually met Smade. Yeah, I was at Smade's house that Absolutely. day. Absolutely. So I drove you back to Smade's house. And there was another young up-and-coming star by the <laughs> star name Boy. of Star Boy was yeah, kid man, in that yeah. place. See how God works. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you... Our connection has also been a connection that has blessed me and blessed my career. Yeah, and blessed me too. And blessed the culture, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. So it, it's a special one. And I, I've Thank always you. been very, 
you know, open with you, kept that relationship yes. from day dot. Yo, always looked out for me, always called to check on me, always, whether I'm there or I'm not there, whether I'm dropping music or not, like, you're one of those people that's always looking out for me. That's why, you know, not be everybody that they call big bro, you know, mm. be everybody that they call brother, not mm. be everybody that they, that they actually humble like I'm I'm, mm. I'm about to be teary at the shop where for real like brother, man. I appreciate your love I appreciate you, your man. your 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 brotherliness and like I said Afrobeats is up right now I and mean, shout out to people like you oh, people like Smade oh. can't forget Rockwell of course Shoo. can't forget Coco Tunde Ma. Phoenix Tunde can't forget Phoenix, Ricky Phoenix, Davis oh, you know what Ricky. I mean like yeah, can't forget so, DJ Edu Eddie Cardi <sighs> You know, we come a long we're way and grace. look at, looking back how many years now I'm like, man, I'm super proud of how far the culture is coming, mm. you know. Our younger ones are even doing way better than <laughs> how we started. They're so crazy. Glory be to God. For you now, you know, like I said, when when you came in before the cameras were on, that Ole Cool was probably the first Afrobeats record to get playlisted mainstream. Oh, BBC One, yeah. Here in yeah, the it UK. was. It was. Kick the door down. You were the first <laughs> Afrobeats artist on BBC One Extra Live. Yeah, man. You you know, one of the first ones to do the freestyle live on, on, on BBC Radio oh, at the yeah. time. You know, Charlie there Slaw, were- Tim they, Westwood. Tim we you, you've done a lot of firsts. Yeah. Um, I, I, I like to say God is the first though, you mm. know, because all those things, don't be me. Me, first of all, I, I don't know people like Charlie mm. Slaw. I don't know this now. People like you, they let me know, say, yo, Ice, this is important. We need to go do this. Mm. People like Ricky mm. made sure I did certain interviews. DJ Abrante. Abrante. What am I? Oh, God. God. Shout out to Abrante, man. Absolutely. People like that. Like, literally, my first concert in the UK was Abrante, DJ right. Abrante. You know, people like that made me do the right interviews, the right collaborations, yep. the, like, the right link-ups. Because, yep. you know, coming from Jaws, coming from Nigeria, I didn't know much. I was very ignorant. Mm. You know what I mean? But... You know, thank God I had people like you. That's mm. why I keep saying God is the first. It's not mm. about my song or mm. none of that. It's it's our song. You know, I didn't. Only Queen is not my song. It's our mm. song. Facts, facts. Yeah. How does it feel now to be in a situation where you know you mentioned some of your records now, your Only Queens and Co these are timeless classics. My God, did great. you? Yes, it was. We were having so much <laughs> fun back then. Yeah, but. Was there any inkling that perhaps I might have created a timeless record? Man, I just felt it was a good song, but you know, this timeless, you know, timeless has no limit to mm. it. There's no, there's no time limit to timeless, Fact. right? And to be here in 2023, maybe you would think that, okay, the song will last five years, yep. six years, and yep. it'll be over. But to be here 10 years later and the reaction is even crazier crazy. than the first time. It's crazy. It's like it's really, really timeless. Like one of the best shows I did on this trip was Middles Bro. Hmm. And man, the, yo, the response to Ole Kool is that ah, should be like yesterday I dropped this song. <laughs> you know what I mean? You expect that over time it'll fade away, but it just keeps getting better. Hmm. And I'm grateful for God, for, you know, to God for passing that song through people through me. Hmm. For delivering that song through me, mm. you know, I've, I can beat my chest and say I have certain records that are actually timeless. And, mm. you know, shout out to, you know, everybody that's been around me, my producers, my managers, you know, my team, everybody that I've listened to, they've mm. helped me get to that point. Chocolate City yes. um, 1.0. <laughs> you know, where the Chuck Boys existed, Jagger. I like that 1.0. Yeah. <laughs> you know, M.I. Yes, you know, Ice Prince, Brymo, mm -hmm. that whole energy that was created around that time with Aldo and everybody. Yeah. What was that energy like? Family. Mm. That energy was family. That energy was, is, let me say is mm. actually, because wars will be past us. Yeah. Like I still maintain the same relationship with Aldo, with Paul, with Abuchi, with mm. everybody in the label. You know, and let me say it again here to you that, yeah. I, you know, I'm one of the artists Probably one of the only artists that left his record label with no issue and no no, beef, no, no drama, beef. and that, that relationship is still there. Hmm. And I'm saying this now because I'm trying to pass a message to every artist out there that you, that don't, you don't have to. be every exit, Gatsby, gra gra. Mm. You get me? But yeah, man, that, that, that relationship has been family for, for people like me, and it still is, even though we're not contractually bound mm. no more. You know what I mean? Like... We still can look at each other. We can, we can still attend each other's birthdays, Facts. each other's weddings, and I Facts. guess that's what life is about. They still support my music. Mm. 
like I still support their music. I still yeah. send recommend artists to Chocolate City, huh. and yeah, man, that's what it still is. I still have the same love, same respect for Mi, for Jesse, for Brimo, for everybody that I worked with. You know, oh. Chopsticks. My boy is one of the best producers in the world Chop right now. Right he just now. gave you last, last. What are you talking about? Chopsticks you know, right now. You know, on top, boy. top, top. <laughs> and you guys introduced Chopsticks. Yeah, quite literally. Early, yeah, man. man. Like, you know, Chopsticks, from my first album, Chopsticks has been, you know, one of the producers on there up until now. In fact, till I was walking, driving to this place, I told him I was coming to see you and he was very excited. You know, I'm, I'm just proud of my whole family, man. All my, all my boys that we came in with. That are still doing it, or even behind the scenes or in front of the scenes. Young L, <laughs> you know, um, who am I forgetting? Uh, Nanle, like the same people that yeah, I can yeah, mention yeah. on and on and on. That you know, we're still the same family. Huh. You know, you mentioned Chopsticks. Now with some of the kind of like the classic hit records that he's putting on the table for people yeah. like Burner Boy and stuff. Yeah. Do you once in a while just pick up your phone and say, "Yo, Chop, <laughs> I <laughs> knew my beat." <laughs> Of course. I knew you first. Of course, nigga. of course. I need that hit. <laughs> well, of course. When I heard Last Last, I was in America the first time. I was in the club in Houston. Bro, when Last Last came up, the club literally erupted. Bro, I called Chopper and I like, Chopper, what the fuck? Where's my beat? And the crazy part is, like, you know, Chopsticks literally leaves. Like, he just bought a house like 10 minutes away from my house. Mm. So we do link up a lot. Like, we Regular. do record a lot. But, you know, we have plans. Mm. You know, and inshallah. We've never rushed our music, you know. Maybe the music we make back then, we made back then, just happened to come out quick. The mm. Abu Keys just yeah. happened to give me that. Just happened to yeah. come out quick. But me and Chopsticks still have work going on. Uh, we believe that, you know, we want to put it out right. Mm. He made a record for my last EP to be continued, but yeah. you know, we just did that as a freestyle. We didn't really, you know, take you it serious or promote it. Yeah. yeah. But me and Chopsticks have a lot in the in the in the kitchen. Mm. Even me and Jags have a lot coming. That's a, that's that's always a question that comes up because you and Jesse Jags made some of the greatest records out of Chocolate <laughs> City as a as a label yeah. and out of our culture. Bless. Um, we as a fan base and maybe as an industry sometimes <laughs> I feel like um, we didn't get enough, enough of Jesse. Man, and, and I want to report that. Jesse to you guys. Somebody yes, needs to go and smack Jesse. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm Jesse ready. is I'm, the one. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> he's go. one of the most difficult producers in the world to work with. But Such even though talent. he's amazing, Such like you know talent. what I mean, he's like yeah. so genius. Jesse can take one year to make one beat. Like he's that kind of artist. You the know what likes, I mean? The elements. Like he's so his attention to detail is is I think is psychopathic. If you ask mm. me at some point. You know, that's what I'm saying. Somebody needs to go smack Jesse. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm I've make been that screaming move. on the phone for Je Jesse move. all the time. We need, we need too this, much. I we, mean, it's it's unfair the amount of the, the kind of talent that Jesse Jacks has. It's very unfair. And I how agree much with that. we have had from him yeah. in the last decade. I yeah. just, it's very unfair. But again, let me give you another exclusive, right? Mm. So Chalk Boy is going to drop an album. Come talk to oh, me. Oh, God. Stop chatting. Oh, God. I, I, we're, talk, we're talking. The Chalk Boy Chalk album, Boys. yeah, I mean like M.I., Ice Prince, and Jesse. Let me put it that way. The three duo, you know, the three duo. God we have, damn. and well, I will tell you that we're 70% done with this album. No way. And if this album doesn't come out, blame M.I. and blame Jesse. Listen, I've done my part. I've recorded everything on that album. Everybody has recorded. We just need to listen, actually just put it out. But listen, you know, my brothers are let perfectionists. Me, let, me, let me tell you what's going on, right? Because <laughs> what I know about M.I., <laughs> is that he is a perfection. Too but I'm going to say this to you, my brother. Everything I've heard from you, released or unreleased, has been incredible. What up? It doesn't need an extra guitar. I'm telling you, don't need you no I, extra keep, I, keep, I keep saying this. Give they don't listen to eyes. The way it is. They don't listen to eyes. They don't listen to eyes. Ah, <laughs> am I waiting going to wait? But wait. Yeah, yeah, on this one, for real, for, we're serious about this. Are Death you Zero partnering with trouble. Chocolate City with this? I mean, yes, of course. Okay. We can't do a Chalk Boy album without Chocolate Facts. City. You Facts. know, and you know, luckily, thank God for us right now, the CEO of Chocolate City is Abuchi. literally Abuchi. A Chalk you know boy. who Abuchi is? Yeah, man. That's, that's Don Boos. No, before he yeah. even started managing MI. No. That's the guy I said Don Boos Boos on the mix, baby, on Oleku. No way. He, he mixed the right. Recorded me, voice and mix. He used to be our student uh, engineer, bro. That's you my know? brother, man. I talk yeah, to him every time. Yeah, I know. I'm so proud of him. that he, I talk to him every time. You know, Abuchi moved from being a studio cleaner to a studio engineer. My to God. Look, he runs Chocolate City now. And, 
you know, of course, we cannot put out a Chalk Boy album without Chocolate City in it. You know? Come on. I Facts. like that. Yeah. I, I like that. Now, you know, I was talking to someone on my way here. I forgot who I was talking to. And I said, Ice Prince literally was the first African on the breakfast club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, Shopsy, I don't like all these. Fresh, Let me tell fresh you why. You know? Let me tell you why. I think God is the first of everything. All oh, right. Maybe say Ice Prince was the second on the Breakfast Club. Ice Prince was the first. <laughs> One of the reasons why I, I'm I'm <laughs> stressing some of this information. Yeah. Is like I said to my brother Two Face earlier. Um, sadly, the culture that we're in. Yeah. We forget a lot. Yeah, we do. And, and some people don't blow their trumpet. Like I don't like to blow my trumpet. But, you know? but it is essential that we blow the trumpet. That we teach the youth. And we teach the youth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because out of that, the education is also going to help someone else. Yeah, I agree um, with that. Uh, Shay, look, look at the computer. The, yeah. The education is very important. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes yeah, yeah. when you also share information that a lot of people don't know, it helps. So okay, so this 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 it, it, it was a big point in my career doing the Breakfast Club. Yes. It was like there was a big moment. But let me tell you who the shout out goes to, Lee Kasumba. Hmm. You probably know Leslie Kasumba. She she used to be head of Channel O. Wow, yes. So so Leslie actually introduced me to Jay Z. And guess what? The day I met Jay Z, Charlemagne happened to be in the same building that day, and he just said, "Yo, put my boy on." And just off of Jay Z saying that, Charlemagne put me on the show. No way. For real. So it wasn't even like the link came. Damn. The link came all the way from South Africa to New York and boom, by hey. That's why I said I'm not the first. God is the first. Like I didn't put myself there. Hmm. You know what I mean? You talked about the link coming from South Africa. Yeah, Leslie Kasumba. Our relationship he, with South Africa sometimes can be. Harmonious, <laughs> other times can be fractious. What are your thoughts about some of the division that somehow always finds itself? I think it's just into the Nigerian I, I, South I think Africa it's conversation. I think it's just I think it's just brother love. Mm. You know how in a family, you know, brothers always go at each other. Yeah. You know, or even brothers and sisters, you know, yeah. sometimes it's just like to log heads. Yeah. I guess that's what it is. We're literally brothers. We're from the same father, same mother, Nigeria, Fact. South Africa, Ghana, Fact. Kenya. Whatever, we're, you know, as long talk. as you're black, you're African, talk that we talk. are one and the same. Fact. So that 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 the way brothers log heads and families, I guess that's just what it is. It's not re it's not a real issue. Mm. It's not. South Africans want to see Nigerians do better. Nigerians want to see South Africans do better. Mm. I guess that's what it is. We're just pushing ourselves. Mm. You mm. know what I mean? We're just pushing ourselves. As long as it doesn't get too far where the beef leads, you know, to to some ugly stuff. And so far, there's not been any major beefs. Yeah, and they, yeah. by God's grace, there would never, never be. Absolutely. We are literally the same. Like, we love each other. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Hip-hop in Nigeria has... And guess what? Some of the collaborations between Nigerians and South Africans uh, have been the hits. biggest no, no, in no. the world. Oh, don't stop playing. Not just in Africa, in the world. Uh, the biggest hits. <laughs> the biggest hits. On earth, so... Um, for you, first of all, the simple question will be this. Yeah. Would you consider yourself a, a, a rapper, a rap artist, or just an all-round musician? Um, you know, maybe, you can call me a rapper, but okay. I came in the game with a song where I said I did rap, I did sing, I, I did come, come MC. Then. So I don't like to box myself, you know? I'm the same guy on Aboki Hook, I'm the same guy on Juju Hook, I'm the same guy on Poppin' in my name. So when I'm rapping or I'm singing, I did rap, I did sing, I did come MC. <laughs> and I, I write songs too. I've written some of the biggest hits from the country. Like I've written for other people, like, you know, my brother's MI, obviously. Hmm. I write songs, you know. Wow. I, I wrote Africa rapper number one. So, you know, it's not yeah, just about my, the my raps. Phone, <laughs> ah! Yeah, man. Yo! One of my favorite songs, actually. But, yeah. That's one of the biggest. Like, it's, yeah, that's, I, I'm having goosebumps now. Let me not say I write it so people don't get it wrong. I came up with that hook. hook. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. that's I it. I wrote his raps. Yeah. You know, people nah, did his thing. Well, man. Yeah. Come on, man. We, come on, man. We know Mr. <laughs> Incredible can drop the bars, I don't want man. people to say, yo, he wrote that song. Nah. Man. Hell, nah. I can't write for my daddy. Twitter can go kiss my ass, man. Twitter, yeah. What's that? Anyway, but yeah, man. but yeah. like you said, you know, you rap. You at a point in time, rap and hip hop was huge in Nigeria. You know, yeah. Mi and and then after a while, you know, Ghana came through. Yeah. Then South Africa was a beast, and, yeah. and they just 
ran with it. And, yeah. and they just started to yo, give birth to so many. Yo, South Africa came through with the hip hop, bro. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. It, it, it sounded like New Shout York. Out to Nasty C, Casper, AKA, AKA Ricky Rick. You know, all them boys came through, man. <laughs> and Nazi, I could go on and on. What you was know? it like when South Africa like really now became the hip hop capital? You know, I made, I made at that point. I, I made South Africa my home. Mm. I literally was in South Africa all the time. I have collaborations with. Almost anybody Everybody. you can think of. R.I.P. DJ Dimples, you know, mm. R.I.P. Wiki Wick, R.I.P. A.K.A., you know. There's so many South African hip-hop artists that I have collabs with. I was a huge fan of their culture, and I wanted to learn from them. So mm. I was always, always, always in South Africa, and I made so many records with them. But, you know, for me, you know, that comparison with Nigeria, I mm. never try to compare us. Mm. I've never tried to put... A Nigerian rapper against a South African rapper. Mm. Like, I don't do that. You know what I mean? Like we come, we have different cultures. South Africans, you know, swag a little bit mm. different mm. from Nigerians. They have malls with Nikes mm. and yeah. Adidas, so they can talk about some stuff that you don't expect a Nigerian mm. rapper to talk about. So I can't compare both worlds I at see all. That. I see that. I you see get what that. I'm saying? So, but. I just respect both sides, like whether you're Ghanaian or or Kenyan or mm. or Angola, and as so long as I, I, I hear Kenya what I like, well. as long as yeah, of so course. Crazy calligraph and all that. What them are you guys. talking about? I cannot they, talk about calligraph. They're crazy. Exactly. Yeah. So I've never been the type to compare, and I feel like comparisons brings us down. Absolutely. Let's collaborate of instead of compare. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Listen, man, we talk about that, um, and then let's talk briefly about Nigeria. Afrobeats mm. is doing what it's doing at the moment. Crazy but it, stuff. It, but it, but it, it looks like the rappers are still finding it difficult oh. <laughs> to cut through. Man, you know, it's a very sensitive topic. What are your thoughts about it? I think mm. the game needs me. Mm. The game needs ice cream so money, man. <laughs> The game needs me. I don't like how you respond. <laughs> the game needs me. That's what I like. I like that. That's yeah. me being cocky right now. Like That's you being factual. The game needs my. I think the game needs ice praise about it for Facts. real, man. I have so much to teach. Because you Nigeria can blend rappers. both cultures as well. You you blend not about, the music. Not about that. As in the music and not the singing. About that. And you the... see, I don't fault. I don't find any fault at all in like the indigenous rappers from mm. Nigeria, like. Olamide, Fino, oh, you know, great. oh my God. Those are great. My respect for them is you know, on, another, on another level. Those Even though great. it's rap, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm talking of the, the, the more contemporary rappers. Mm. I think they need to go study Ice Prince. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, they have a lot to learn from me. That's why I say I Hook, have so much on God, bars, on everything. It's a mixture. Everything, my brother. Hmm. And, you know, I have a lot to offer still. I still have more music to drop. I have an album coming out, Fire and Ice. You know, me and my man Dapper Dam, we've been coming up with a whole bunch of ideas. Mm. I mean, Dino is right here, Wicked as Dino. Mm. You know, we have plans to present Ice Prince with, with new music, yeah. and, you know, in a certain way. But it takes time. And I'm sorry for the wait. I'm sorry yeah, for yeah, keeping so my yeah, fans yeah, waiting. Yeah, yeah. I know this sounds People's like the, the regular story. It's coming, it's coming. But for real, for real, like, I don't want to disappoint you guys. I don't want to disappoint anybody. But don't you, aren't you a little bit scared that you hold on too time long? Time passes, right? Yeah, I have those fears, but... You know, you know, it gotta. You have to wait. I rather, I rather wait than put out garbage or put out stuff that is substandard. Mm. You know, I did show up on my last mm. album. I had crept and Conan. Ooh. I had French Montana. Ooh. I've done. You know, I'm mean? I can't go lower than that, my brother. Oh my days! Yeah. And let me give you another exclusive. Talk to me. While I'm here, while I've been here in the UK, I just made a record with Ivorian Doll. IVD, is, shout out to the IVD. Shout out to IVD, man. Like she's been the only artist I've worked with so far since mm. I've been here. And it's a record that I think would do well for she's Africa. Fire. She's fire, bro. She's fire. And she's yeah, fire. can't wait for you to hear that too. Nah, man, you mentioned French Montana. When French Montana was like, you know, yeah, it, it, was it was number only, one. He was like the PDD. Yeah, he man. was signed to, yeah. to PDD at the mm -hmm, time. He mm -hmm. was like, he'd come off the, you know, the, yeah. yo, that's. And we didn't pay for that. Like, he took care of a lot for us, paid for the studio, you know, took no me way. to New York, took me to Diddy House. You know, at this time, boss, they know the answer I'm called out here. They know the answer Africa. <laughs> T, bro, you... Yeah, yeah. You, you picked up the... All beat. that is you, boss. All that is y'all, man. It's y'all. It's you. It's Ricky Davis. It's Smade. It's Nale. It's Toby Sonny Daniels. It's, Toby you know, Aldo Mekuri. It's, it's, it's everybody that I started with, hmm. you know, and 
I'm just so happy that everybody, all these names I'm mentioning, I still work with. You know, they're still Facts. in my corner. Facts. The last deal I signed with 300 was literally from Ricky Davis. Ricky table. Davis, shout out my sister. So, you know, it's, it's still the same family. I still, I still look up to the same people, and I'm just so happy. Of, to, to be where we are. I wish people could be in this building mm. to see how dope this place is, actually. Amazing, you know what man. I mean? And go back to our first interview I'm and see how far awesome. Shopsy Do has we're, come. We're hustling. <laughs> right now. now, another you know, thing that I wanted to speak about is, you know, um, now the young ones are coming. You know, yeah. Your Oxlades, your CKs. CK. But these are also cats that when Ice gives them the call, they come through with a hook. Straight yeah, away, yeah. what what what's that like? Having to call on the young guys and they still are excited to work with you. You know that's and they deliver. That's something that I, I feel very blessed to have. You know, like mm. man, I have records with everybody. I have records with with Fireboy, with Buju, mm. with Vic Tony. Yeah. I ever made a record with Rema. I have records with almost all the young kids you can Kidding. think about. And guess what? They love me like. Basically, they look us like me, Tiff, and I like it. That's I amazing. like the fact that they're comfortable yeah, yeah, yeah. around me. That's amazing. That's what we want. I like the fact that, you know, they, they some of them, you know, admire my type of fashion. Facts. Facts. You know, and it's easy for us to, like, when I met Oxley, the first thing that we related on was the fashion. Hmm. You know what I mean? I liked how he looked. He, you know, he was talking, we were talking about swag or whatever, hmm. Psycho YP, me hmm. and them talk about, all we talk about is sneakers and mm. new hats and all that kind of stuff. So it's easy for them to feel mm. comfortable around me and not mm. feel like they're with some old OG. guy, you know what I mean? The, only thing, I give, <laughs> the yeah. only thing that gives up my age is this belly, but <laughs> every other thing, you know. You you're know, still young and fresh, I'm man. comfortable you look around just it. the same way you look 10 years ago. That's what Dino was saying when I was when we're watching interviews, like, Chuck Westy looks the same. <laughs> It's the same, man. Yeah. But, and I think it's that's just the energy. It's the energy. That's the energy. The energy, and God. The excitement of the fact that we genuinely love each our other. culture. Yeah. We love ourselves. We, we're happy to see each other still winning and existing Friends. within this culture. Friends. And and for us, that continues to give us that energy and that. And, and talking about, the, sorry, I just remember yeah. the thought right now, talking about the young guys yeah. and how much they, they accept me or show me love. Like, I just want to say how. how 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 extremely extremely proud I am of these young guys mm. as well, you know what I mean. I think mm. right now I think Rema is one of the greatest musicians <laughs> ever on earth, the ever 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 ever. Don't play with or the some future. Beethoven stuff, ah, you know what I mean? Like the Rema, future. exactly. So the future. I'm very proud of where where it is. I know that we're in safe hands. Mm. I know that our great grandkids are good facts because of what is already happening. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. So yeah, facts. Shout out to the culture. So Chuck boys. Is an album that hopefully is gonna come through. Yes, it's gonna the, the album is gonna be named by Mi. Yeah, it's gonna be Chocolate named by City. M yeah. Mi. And then you've got Fire and Ice. Yes, boss. Um, this is July. Yes, 2023. we're looking at we're looking are, at October. We looking at we're looking at, looking at no 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 for my album. I can speak for my yes. album. We're looking at October 30th on my birthday. Okay, let's make that happen. And if it doesn't come out, nah, Dapper hey, Dom is responsible. No 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 no. Hey, hey, yo Dapper, you know hey, yo Dapper, you know Dapper has been busy with with like Charlie Pompey and Shady vibes and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, he's he's, he's trying to right take now. my t t take time with nah, my Dapper, album. I'm like, nigga, no. Nah, <laughs> Dapper, I'm listen. 30th of October is the date we set. But that's another person that I'm really, really proud of. You know, mm. shout out to Dapper Dam and what he's doing with the young boys. You know, Balo Rankin, Shea Vibes, you know, Charlie oh, Poppy. Movement. You know, he, he got the young boys popping and taking, him, taking them off the streets too, you know? Absolutely. What are your thoughts about some of the young boys that are kind of beefing now? You mentioned Shea Vibes. You've seen him and Zinoleski and stuff. We don't want, we don't want, and you know the street stuff can really go left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we, yeah. yeah, we don't want that. We need people like you. I just want my like guys say, yeah. oh, more, more, you know, they necessary. Because, see, even me, when I day young, mm. it would be easy for us to enter beef now. But mm. you could see the camaraderie between people like me and Wiz. Yep. Or Wiz and Skills. Yep. Or Wiz and One Day. Yep. Or the Prince and Marcel. Yep. Or Jesse Jazz. Or, you know what I mean? Like, we literally grew up together. You mm. feel me? And that's what I expect these young cats to emulate, they should need to have a camaraderie amongst them that, you know, they need to understand that it's not for now. And all these guys are my guys funny enough. They only say, they only be funny there around me. Of course, they're going to respect come on, You know what I mean? But, I mean, it's one love, one heart, one industry. We're all doing this for, for Africa, for Nigeria, for the black race. 
And it's not about one person, you know. They can just live in peace and harmony. We'll all be good. Afrobeat started in nightclubs, you know. Yeah. Now we're at the stadium level. Man, Shout outs to, man, those, man. To, to the monsters. Man. From the, what are your thoughts when you're seeing Burner Boy no. doing what he's doing? Man, where he's bro. about to do the stadium. David O just wrapped up the arena tour yeah. in America. Like when you it's see like, those it's like for when I see those things, it's like it's just like a dream come true. You know what I mean? It's really like a dream come true. And not everybody would do it at the same time. Mm. But you know, with God and with, with consistency, we all can do it. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, uh, for people like Wiz, I remember Wiz telling me mm. he was going to do all these things like maybe 10 years ago. And at the time, I could have been looking at this nigga like, nah, nigga, you crazy. You know mm. what I mean? Like, shut the fuck up. But mm. look, it actually played out to be what it is. Absolutely. You know, I've seen Bonner Boy tell me, yo, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. And at the time, it was profess prophesied. Mm. Not even sure how it was going to happen. Mm. You know, so to see it happening now is like, wow, 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 wow. Dreams do actually come true. I'm super, super proud of of these guys. Like, I'm one of those people that could tell you, I watched these guys grow up. Yep. I've seen them at their lowest, yep. at their highest, or their, you know, whatever it is. And I'm just super proud, man. And I wish more of us can do that. Facts, you right. know, if if Burner Boy is able to sell out a stadium, and Wiz is able to, David is able to, it means Rema will be able to, Facts. it means Asake will be able That's to. That's why it they're means... entering the O2 Arena now, yes. because Wiz scared yes. David and Burner Boy to, exactly, went into exactly. the O2 Arena. And, you know, even for the, the names that you're mentioning too, there's other people who open the doors for them. I can't forget people like King Two-Face. No, before not before, them. even before, the, oh, the, the, I'm talking about oh. like the, the Two Faces, the Debanges, the P Squares, what two -face, Tamaya, what two -face, MR, Bikey. Two Face, two -face P Square, nice. Yeah. The Banch. They opened the doors for what people like did us. Changed and our lives. Yes, exactly. Mohits, yo, Choo! can't forget that. <laughs> so, I mean, exactly. Yeah. So, it's, it just keeps going. Like, God keeps blessing us. God keeps blessing all the trap niggas. Can I say that? Yeah, you can yeah, say that, man. man. So you can say that. May God keep us. May God keep people like you. May God keep people Amen. like me. May God Amen. keep everybody repping for the culture. And and finally, you know, I remember when you had your little boy. Yeah, he's a Jamal. Big man now. Yeah, he's eleven now. What's what's that like <laughs> having to watch a, a, a young man, ice man. be the same? Yo, right now he's yo he's almost like Mi's hype man right now. This guy travels everywhere with Mi. But he's always like I remember. Like Christmas and co, he used to spend time in Mi's house. To, yo, he's Mi's li literally Mi's best friend. Yeah, yeah he's I been coming on stage with Mi. He loves Mi more than he loves me. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's his uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His big uncle. Yeah. Yo, um, I'm so I'm happy that my boy is doing good. He's he does amazing. He was just a governor in his class. That's amazing. And I was calling him His Excellency recently. That's brilliant. You know, I'm proud of him. That's, proud that's of him. brilliant. How yeah. how what are, how how does that kind of like being a father that's into your son and also still being a young musician yeah. how how do you balance that and how does it kind of inspire just, some of the stuff you yeah, do yeah i wish he had i wish um i had more time for him mm. that's, that's the thing you know i wish i had more cuz i'm hardly in lagos i'm hardly mm. in in one place and he lives in lagos mm. you know and i hardly hardly have time to hang out with him except for maybe his holidays mm. or some weekends mm. you know i get to see him cuz you know how he inspires me is, is you know, just seeing that he wants he wants to be better than me at everything. Hmm. Every time this boy comes to my studio, my house, he wants to be in the in studio, studio. two four seven, and he wants to make sure that he's rapping better than me, singing better than me. <laughs> that motivates me to be like, hey boy, you can Listen. never be that. So <laughs> it makes me better. It makes me. You know, That's want to amazing. do more as a father, and of course, his school fees is not cheap, hey. so I have to keep working. You know, private, yeah, <laughs> no, no, it's not private. cheap at all. <laughs> his English is foreign. Clean, guy. clean. <laughs> yeah. Listen, man. Um, as always, I'm I'm super proud of you. I'm proud of everything you've been doing. Shops. You're still looking just the same, young old ice prince. No, man, I got a bow. You know look, I mean? look, 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 look. Listen, man, we gone. We, we, <laughs> we, le listen. The last time I saw hair on my head. <laughs> Was close to 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, so listen, man, I'm proud and I'm excited about some of the stuff you shared with me today. We're looking forward to the projects and the music coming out. Yeah, man. And we're looking forward to seeing you more.
picking up the bags on the road, Inshallah. doing your stuff, amen. man. Amen, amen. I pray, I pray, I pray, I get back on the road. I Facts. pray, you know, I pray they my will. fans tune in again. They will from October when I drop my new album. Facts. I'm just hoping that my fans, some maniacs, will ride with me one more time, and I'm never gonna disappoint. Music that's timeless. That's what I represent, ladies and gentlemen. The incredible, super cool cat. I spray some money. Booyah! You know the vibe. <laughs> Peace out. Oh, oh, yeah. no, no. Peace out. Peace out.